I do a lot of things by myself. I make a lot of my own decisions. It's always just a negotiation as, as she gets older. The boundaries change around autonomy and sometimes as a parent it's a little bit hard to let go. Being able to take care of myself like alone, just having that notion in. Knowing that you always have this security yeah. net here, it allows you to explore, to go, but know that you can always come back in yeah. a fallback position. If I have a parent that always says their opinion but never asks for my opinion, it all makes me feel like I'm in a closet or stuck somewhere. Uh, to me, the ideal parent is uh, someone who can r guide you to make the proper decisions without necessarily imposing their own ideology or whatever they think on you. Try to adopt a mentoring role sensitive to your teen's worries and opinions. It's very hard to be able to open up about those subjects with my mom and dad, but I think it's important to be able to trust them because they are the people that can support me the most or get support for me. We did have a couple talks, but it wasn't you know, hour-long conversation. I used to be the type of person who used to keep everything for myself, and it was a bad idea. And at a certain point, it's still the child's choice. I can talk about it with mom all I want. It'll still be my choice. It's necessary, Anna, and we don't want to create a barrier to things that aren't already difficult to talk about. So Try to stay open to new things by allowing them to express themselves freely, especially on sensitive topics such as sexuality, platonic and romantic relationships, bullying, alcohol, and drugs. Some of the boundaries and rules that we have at home are mainly around electronics. Uh, Lex would be on her electronics probably 24 hours a day, maybe 26 hours a day, which is very strange. We all have to respect each other. It's not just something you learn at a house, it's also because in the, you will need those um, rules in the future too. She's about to make me cry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Be sure to give your teen some clear rules for living. By picking your battles, you will help your teen manage their anxiety and avoid risky behaviors resulting from a lack of boundaries. I would like them to share their experience if they had the same experience when they were my age, but in a calm way that isn't negative towards me. I think it's really important for the parents to maybe sit down, have a good talk, explain all the effects. So I'm moved to hear you uh, say that. Keep in mind that you are a role model for your children and that you have a great deal of influence over them. Your opinions and the information that you give your teen will play an important role in their decision making. They should approach it in a positive way and let them be able to explain themselves and to be able to open up when they're comfortable. They could meet the person and they could sometimes even ask questions about that certain person. Monitor and supervise your child's activities wisely. Don't believe everything you hear in the media. You can monitor your child's activities simply by being present and asking them some questions in a neutral, non-accusatory tone. I would be very interested to be getting a first job. I've been talking about it forever. You could keep your job on the weekends yeah. if your grades are not impacted. But if I see that her grades are going down, we'll adjust. I'm actually looking for a job because I find it super important to be able to get the work experience. A first job or a volunteering activity are ideal ways to develop a young person's independence and sense of responsibility. Did you know that a teenager's brain is able to take in millions of new pieces of information effortlessly? Thanks to the particular development of the teenage brain, young people have a great ability to learn. Through their new discoveries, they gradually become independent from their families and lay the foundations for their future adult life.